So today we are doing this super fun Chloe Kardashian inspired makeup look. So I just recently got these seven beautiful liquid lipsticks in the mail from Born Pretty Store. And when I saw this silvery grey color, I just knew I had to do a tutorial with it. And it reminded me of a old picture of Chloe Kardashian where she had on a silver lip. So that is what I was inspired by to do this whole makeup look. And I'm just in love with all these new colors that Born Pretty Store just got added to that line. Especially I'm loving this blue color. This reminds me so much of the Anastasia Beverly Hills paint liquid lipstick. So I will do a tutorial using this color as well. But yeah, I just wanted to use this silver grey color because I just thought it was so phenomenal. But as you guys can see, all the colors are just so beautiful. I love crazy colors on the lips. And these liquid lipsticks are super affordable. They are only $1.99 each. So obviously this look is not for everyone. It's not for every day. But I just wanted to do something really fun. And I think this lip color is so freaking fun. It gives me the wildest alien vibes. And by the way, these liquid lipsticks do dry completely down. So I can do that without having any transfer. Oh yeah, and before we get into this makeup tutorial, I wanted to remind you guys that I now have a Snapchat account. So if you want to follow me, my name is Emma E. Nurko. So you can follow me on Snap to see all my stupid snaps. And yeah, thank you to everyone who has already followed me. I hope you enjoy. Um, but yeah, I just want to mention that quickly. So yeah, I really love this look. And if you like it as well, please don't forget to thumbs up the video and watch in high definition. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys this full look. So here comes the tutorial. So the first step to getting perfect, flawless Kardashian skin is of course to prime. I'm using the e.l.f. Minimal Face Primer and this primer really helps to fill out the pores and it just makes your foundation glide on super easily. So I am of course going to prime my under eye area as well and I'm using this one from Smashbox today. I just realized I forgot to do my eye drops so we will do that next. I always use these Equate Eye Allergy Relief Eye Drops. These help if you have allergies and they also whiten the eyes, which I need today because my eyes are looking not so good. For my foundation today, I'm going to use this one from Derma Blend. I have it in the color Opal. So I'm going to shake it up and tuck my hair behind, behind my ears. And then I'm going to apply this. This is quite a full coverage foundation and it's great for acne prone skin. And of course I'm going to use my beauty blender and I just dab it out. As you can see it's quite a yellow tone. I was actually going to use a yellow corrector today but then I saw how yellow this foundation is and I thought there was no need for the yellow corrector. So I'm just doing one thin layer to start out with. So I just want a little more coverage in some areas. So I'm just adding a bit more foundation and just blend that out once more. So for my concealer, I'm going to use my favorite at the moment, which is Maybelline Fit Me in the color Fair. And I'm going to use this to um, disguise my dark circles and also to highlight my face. And as you guys can see, this concealer is not a lot lighter than my skin tone and my foundation. But that's because I am so pale. So I have to go with something white if I want like a really intense highlighted look. The only place I'm not going to highlight is my chin. I find it doesn't really work on me. For some reason, if I apply concealer on my chin, it removes all my foundation. So then I go ahead and blend it out. 
And as I said, you guys can see it's a very soft highlight. And I'm going to set my concealer with my Ben Nye Cameo Powder. You guys, yesterday I tried to film this look as well. And when I came to the powder, I used my Ben Nye Neutral Set. And it looked so horrible. It made my under eyes so cakey and so patchy. I just, I hate this powder. I don't understand who likes it. It looks awful. So I go ahead and use the Cameo powder now. I am going to use it on my chin even though I did not put concealer there. But it's just to highlight the area. And of course my Cupid's bow. And down the center of the nose. And then right in the center of the forehead. And then of course the under eye area. So for the rest of my face I'm going to use my natural collection loose powder in neutral translucent. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this. So my bronzer today is going to be the e.l.f. Warm Bronzer. But before we do that I am going to remove the foundation and powder off of my lips. And apply some lip balm. And then I'm going to take the bronzer with my e.l.f. Studio Stipple Brush. And I'm going to start bronzing up my face. So this just adds a nice bit of glow and color. It is nothing major, this bronzer is pretty light. And I'm also going to do my jaw a little bit, since this bronzer is such a pale or light color. So to contour, I'm of course going to use my Shade Light Palette by Kat Von D. And I'm going to use this middle color. And I'm using this brush by W7. And I'm going to carve out my cheekbones. Ooh. And blend that harsh line upwards. And I'm going to use the shade end of my Kat Von D brush to blend this out even further. And remember to blend it upwards. So once that is blended, we're going to do the forehead. And I'm going to do the sides of the forehead mainly. And then kind of join it here at the very top. And then I go back in and blend with my Kat Von D brush. This is an excellent blending brush for the face. Finally, I'm going to do my jaw. And I blend it down the neck. And then I of course blend it out with my brush. And since my face is looking a little bit darker than my um, neck, I am going to take my bronzer and just apply it down here. Just to kind of even out my skin tone. And right down here of course. And now I'm just going to contour my nose. So now I'm going to give everything a last blend with my powder brush so it doesn't look, you know, very harsh or anything like that. So now I'm cleaning up my cheekbone contour with the Benai Cameo Powder. So once it looks like I have a nice little white beard, uh, we can move on to highlighting. So Chloe's skin looks very golden, so that's why I'm using my Norris Albatross Highlight. Because this looks white, but it has a really nice golden undertone. So I'm going to apply it right here on the top of the cheekbones. And of course, right above the lips. And I'm using my finger to apply it to the tip of the nose and also right up here. And Chloe also seems to be wearing kind of a peachy color on the cheeks. So I'm going to use my Norris blush in Deep Throat. It looks like this. It's a nice peachy pink color. So I'm applying this kind of in between the contour and the highlight. So now I'm brushing away the excess powder. And now I'm going to set everything with my NYX Dewy Finish um, setting spray. So I just put in my earrings. I don't like to have my earrings in from the beginning because all my face makeup always 
gets on my earrings. So anyways, we are going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow today again. And I'm going to fill in kind of from here and then outwards. I'm not using it towards the front of my brows because I think it looks too intense. So now I'm using my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in Ashed and I'm using the powder side over here. And I just cleaned off my brush and I'm using it again now to fill in the front part of my eyebrow. So now that I have these two brow products in my eyebrows, I'm going to set them with my e.l.f. clear brow gel. So I'm just brushing kind of upwards and outwards and of course I'm going to clean them up. I have been obsessed with cleaning up my brows lately. So I just use my concealer and I just blend it out with my beauty blender. So before we move on to eyeshadows we are going to prime the eyelids. I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Primer in Nude and I'm just going to pop a little bit of this all over my eyelid. And then we are going to blend it out afterwards. And I'm just using my finger to blend it out. So in the picture, Chloe has her eyes open. So it's kind of hard to see what exactly she has on her eyes. But it seems to be kind of bronzy, glamorous and neutral. So I'm going to start out with this Wet n Wild single eyeshadow in Nutty. And I'm just going to press this all over the eyelid. And I'm going to use this color for my brow bone. So I'm just going to lightly sweep it on. And then for the crease, I'm going to use this color. So I'm just blending this right on the border of the lip color. And I'm not worrying too much about blending right now. I just want to place the color. And then I'm taking the darker color and I'm just adding that out here in the outer corner. So I just wiped off my blending brush and now we can go in and blend a little bit. So just blend a little bit upwards. And to make the inner corner pop, I'm going to lay down this LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is in the color Iridescent Light. So I'm just popping it right around the tear duct. And I'm applying NARS Albatross on top. So I'm applying my eyeshadow primer along my lower lash line now. And I'm going to use the color we also used on the eyelid. The one from Wet n Wild. And I'm using this dark color again. And on my Morphe brush, I'm using this in the outer corner. So I'm going to use my Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Liner. I have it in the color Ultra Black. And Chloe looks like she is having a very thin cat eye going on, so that's what I'm trying to do. So that's the liner I'm trying to replicate over here. This eye is always my hard eye, so um, I'm going to do my best. And I'm just going to remove like all this gunk I have up in this eye. Ew. I hope you guys didn't notice all the eye snot I had in my eye. Ew. So now I'm using my favorite eyelash curler from Shu Urmora. And my mascara today is Voluminous by L'Oreal. So let's load up on this mascara, top and bottom, to get those Kardashian lashes. So I did two coats of mascara on top and bottom, but of course that is not enough for a Kardashian look. I'm going to also add falsies. But first, I'm going to use my MAC Smolder Eye Coal to line my waterlines. And I'm going to do this off camera because it's always a pain in the ass for me to film it. So yeah, I will do that and be right back. So this is what the eyes look like with eyeliner in the waterlines. So Chloe's lashes are really wispy and flirty. So I'm going to use my Adele Wispies. So I'm just going to add these lashes. And now I'm going to do the other one. 
So while the glue is drying on the lashes, we are going to do the fun silver lips. So this is what the liquid lipstick looks like. This is a new release in Born Pretty Stores line. This is number six. And have you guys noticed that um, Kylie Jenner and Jeffree Star have come out with um, the metallic liquid lipsticks? I am really excited about that because I hope metallic finishes are going to be on trend here during the summer because I have so many metallic lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and I'm kind of ready to move on from the matte craze but anyways I'm going to apply this directly from the applicator So as you guys can see, this liquid lipstick is on the sheer side, but what you do is you apply one thin layer, then you wait for it to dry and then you apply another to get it opaque. So I'm adding a bit more. So this is what the liquid lipstick looks like. So it is more like of a gray silver. Chloe's lips are a very light silver color, so that is um, the only difference. But I'm still in love with this color. It's giving me like a super alien feel. So here you guys have the completed Chloe Kardashian inspired look. So if you take away the lips, the eye look is very wearable, but I'm actually in love with this lipstick color. I think it's so fun. And I wore like a simple t-shirt and just some silver hoops just to not distract from um, this crazy lip color. I'm actually really enjoying this look. And if you guys like it as well, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye bye!